Wingman Joker thank you for listening to this channel and please support the channel. Please subscribe. Chapter 19. Nasty Stuff. You bastard. Let go of my mother. The young man who broke open the door immediately flew into a rage and yelled as he saw what Adrian was doing to his stepmother. Adrian, what are you? Summer gasped as soon as she stepped in. Jimmy, wait, she quickly yelled as she noticed that the young man jumped at Adrian with his fist. Jimmy didn't listen, nor did Adrian who quickly let go of Clara and then turned to face his attacker. It all happened in a split second. Bam, Jimmy's fist going in full speed toward Adrian's head was stopped by an invisible shield that materialized an inch in front of the latter's cheek just as it was about to make a hit. Pathetic, Adrian spat. Before Jimmy could realize what happened, the shield collapsed like it was made out of bloody red glass shards that in a blink of an eye, turned into arcs of lightning then struck at his clenched fist before making their way, arcing through his arm into his chest. Boom, they exploded, sending him flying backward to hit the wall and then dropping to the floor while spasming as if he had just been electrocuted. This attack was the result of a one-time defensive spell that Adrian drew with blood on his body this morning. Right now he couldn't really conjure an adequate defense spell as those required him to reach the third circuit, that's why he drew this just to be extra careful. It all took one second for Summer and Rose who had just entered the room to watch all of this then gasped in shock. Jimmy, they yelled as they ran to check on him. The moment they tried to touch him, sparks of electricity hit them, forcing them to back away. What the fuck, do you know how dangerous that was? Adrian ignored them as he flared angrily, are you okay? He turned to Clara and asked in a worried voice. Stopping such an operation in the middle was a very dangerous thing, that's why he locked the door using magic. How was it opened? Looking at the door Adrian frowned. The bastard didn't unlock it, he broke the frame itself. Damn it, what a barbarian. I, I am fine, Clara nodded in shock. Will he be okay? She asked nervously as she appeared on the still spasming Jimmy. It is just a simple stun magic. He will regain his motor skills in a few minutes, just make sure not to touch him, Adrian spat. Too late, Rose spat back as she held her hand in pain. Just now she touched him, making her get jolted by a random arc of electricity. Who was he? Adrian ignored Rose and asked Summer, who made sure that Jimmy was still breathing, to stand up. My stepbrother, Jimmy, Summer said. I, you didn't have to hit him that hard, Rose flared, interrupting her sister. So it was okay for him to hit me? Adrian asked. Ah, I, he is lucky I didn't aim for his heart, not wanting to kill anyone today. Adrian spat. If he wanted, the arcs of lightning wouldn't have been dispersed into Jimmy's nervous system to paralyze him, but reached his heart and stopped it. Quote dot dot dot. Why, oh you, the young man wanted to say something as he glared at Adrian, but he couldn't use his mouth correctly yet. Is there a problem here? All of a sudden a nurse who heard the commotion finally reached the room and began to look around with a few other of her colleagues, noticing Jimmy on the floor. There is none, Adrian said, flashing his family card. Although this hospital didn't belong to his family, it was under the influence of the magical tower. Give us some privacy. Ah, the nurse frowned. You can't. Leave. Yes sir. Another young busty nurse who knew what the card meant said quickly with sparkling eyes as she looked at Adrian. She unconsciously even unbuttoned the collar of her uniform and pushed her chest forward. Big sis, come, we should not intrude. On private family matters, the big sister nurse said, winking to Adrian as she dragged her friends out and then shut the door close, or she tried to do that, but the lock was busted, so it could only let it be as she left. The room was silent again. Now, sit and let's have a talk. Adrian turned to the two sisters who were glaring at him and said after a sigh. You, what were you doing? Rose wanted to say something. Go take a seat, Adrian scolded, making Summer quickly drag her sister to a nearby couch. For some strange reason, she knew that she shouldn't disobey him. It was as if his voice was something authoritative. What a mess, do you know how dangerous that was? Don't you know that you shouldn't disturb someone who is performing a spell? Adrian scolded Jimmy who was left on the floor. If I couldn't react in time, your mother's treatment would have gone haywire, turning into a disaster instead. He spat, she could have been crippled. Quote dot 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 quote. Jimmy just glared back at Adrian. It was clear he didn't like being scolded. Treatment, you were treating our mother. Summer asked with a frown, looking at her mother for confirmation. Could it be that he really had a cure? Ah, yes, young master Adrian seemed to have reached some kind of diagnostic, and he was trying to treat me, Clara said, trying to be as serious as possible. Why was she feeling shy? 
They were not doing anything shameful. He was really just curing her. It seems to work, she said, raising her arm high and rotating it, something she could barely do before, now the pain was mostly gone. What? Summer gasped, she couldn't believe it. You, she had a complex look in her eyes as she looked at him. Did he really go out of his way to ask his family experts for a cure for her mother's condition? She wondered with a guilty conscience. She planned to use him but all he thought about was her and her family's well-being. Impossible, Rose uttered. Nothing is impossible for me. Adrian spat. Sadly, after the treatment was interrupted earlier, it would be a little troublesome to restart it, he said. What? Why? Clara asked. Your healed veins are in a very delicate condition, I would need to pass my mana through them to reach the deeper parts, but that may stimulate them too much and might cause them to be damaged. Oh, so, Summer frowned, don't worry, we would just need to wait for another week before we can continue. He said, it is all this guy's fault. Oh, Clara frowned, looking at Jimmy who was still on the floor with some anger. W-H-O, R, U, Jimmy, who began to gain some of his muscle functions, stuttered. Ah, sorry, I forgot to introduce myself due to your unruly behavior, Adrian spat, he didn't like this guy. I am Adrian, Summer's husband. What? Summer? Impossible, Jimmy gasped, talking was clearly difficult for him. You, told, me that you did, not, plan to be in a R-E-L-A-T-I-O-N-S-H-I-P. He couldn't continue as he began to cough while spasming. He also tried to move but failed. Adrian raised one eyebrow hearing him. Was this what this guy really cared about? Why was he reacting so strongly? Wait, wasn't that question the same one Lloyd asked before? He clearly had a crush on her. Seems like IT. She is pretty hot. Yeah, did we just NTR him? Yup. Cool. No not cool. I am not into that. No one asked for your opinion. But guys, did you notice? What? Wasn't this guy supposed to be still paralyzed? He shouldn't be able to talk for the next three hours. This thought made Adrian quickly notice that Jimmy's body was not normal. Although he couldn't investigate it without touching him, he could tell that it was well built, too well built. He was one level below becoming a knight. All he was missing was a good training. Method. Jimmy, it's not what you think. Don't speak for now. I will explain everything later. Summer, who didn't know what Adrian was thinking about, sighed as she nervously looked at him. She was clearly aware of Jimmy's feelings toward her. Quote dot dot dot. Can we get a doctor to confirm my mother's condition? She turned to Arian and asked. She clearly didn't want to offend him, but really wanted to know if his treatment worked. Sure, you can come in, Adrian said, startling the young doctor who was eavesdropping outside. The doctor pushed the door and then walked in, clearing his throat. EHM, excuse me, it is time for me to check on the patient, he said nervously. He was clearly new here. Please do. I tried a secret family healing technique on my mother-in-law, please perform a complete diagnosis. Adrian said, you can ignore this guy. He will be okay soon, he added after the doctor noticed Jimmy who was still glaring at Summer. Ah, okay, the doctor nodded as he headed toward Clara, please be patient, a complete examination would take some time. About 30 to 45 minutes, he said without making any extra comments. He was a pretty sensible guy. He just sat beside the hospital bed, then took a strange-looking stethoscope and began to check Clara's pulse by following her veins. Unlike Adrian who could do it quickly, the doctor couldn't really use his mana to investigate the veins directly and needed to use some tools. Summer nodded as she looked at Rose and then at her mother, before turning to Adrian with an apologetic look. Noticing her he sighed then turned to watch the doctor work. Although this guy was clearly young, he was not bad at all. He just... Adrian paused. Did you hear that? Yeah, W-H-O. Adrian, who monitored all the mana flow around by instinct, felt someone using telepathy to communicate right behind him. Giving the room a scan, he quickly found the perpetrator. It was Jimmy who was starting to regain control of his body. His eyes were closed as if he was angry, but Adrian could tell that he was communicating with someone telepathically. He knew those mana patterns too well to be mistaken. W-H-O is he talking to? IT might not be him, but something inside of him. I don't like this. Yeah, this guy is not even a magician. Strange. Could it be an artifact on his body? IT could also be a talisman or a parasite. No, it is him. Look at how his eyes are moving. He is clearly the one talking. As Adrian's soul fragments logically analyzed the situation, he frowned. Regardless of how Jimmy was doing it, 
Adrian felt threatened as he couldn't locate the other side of the communication, could it be someone outside? Can we find the source? Not without the third circuit. Let's try to create a temporary radar by using the zero circuit. As an antenna then filter the data using the first circuit. Adrian, who acted as if he was watching the doctor work, slowly manipulated his mana and began to modify a part of his zero circuit, the part that was responsible for feeling the mana, then rewriting a part of the first circuit to analyze the bidirectional streams. This solution was very inefficient. It had a very narrow range and only worked in situations where there was not much noise, but it was enough for now. Finishing in just five minutes, he quickly activated it, allowing him to feel the exact mana flow around Jimmy as he focused on him. The mana fluctuations around him formed a stream that went directly from between Jimmy's eyebrows into his cranial vertex at the top of his skull. There was clearly nothing there. Is he by any chance communicating with himself? Schizophrenia? No. Could it be? Impossible. That nasty stuff exists in this world too. What nasty stuff? Scat. Shut up. IT can only be one of four. A contract. A possession. A parasite. Or a demon. All bad news. Can we listen to him? The communication doesn't seem encrypted. Use the second circuit. Adrian quickly modified another part of his second circuit, the one responsible for the manipulation of the mana elements to take form. By flipping the circuit, he turned it into a circuit that turned the form and modulations of the mana into data. That's what it meant to understand how everything worked. He had free reign over all his circuits, changing them to fit his needs. Finishing in less than five minutes he looked at Jimmy. The guy was no longer lying on the floor, he was sitting while leaning against the wall. He was no longer communicating with anyone, but merely glaring at Adrian. Adrian glared back this guy's body was way stronger than expected. Shit we took too long. Damn IT. Speak fool. Should we leave him be? No. This guy hates US. Never leave your enemies alive. Kill him. No need to go that far. We just need to investigate him. But he is no longer using telepathy. Try to stimulate him. How? Do you need to ask? Adrian smirked, then slowly walked toward Summer. What? She asked, a little startled. She was worriedly watching the doctor who was checking on her mother and failed to notice Adrian's approach. Does your body still hurt? I was a little rough last night in bed. He whispered in her ear, making sure that beside her, only Jimmy could hear them. Why are you talking about that now? She hissed with a blush, making sure that no one heard him. Thankfully Rose seemed a little distracted watching the doctor work. She didn't notice Jimmy as Adrian stood between them on purpose. Since we are in a hospital, I thought it would be a good thing to check with a doctor. There is no need. I am fine. She spat. Good he said as he squeezed her butt from behind, from an angle only Jimmy could notice. Be prepared for some punishment tonight then. Ah, why? She hissed, looking around nervously as she pushed his hand away. For doubting me, he said, but I, you also threw away the gift wrapper you were meant to wear, he found those in the trash in the morning. Ah, look, can we talk about this later? She whispered nervously, finally noticing Jimmy whose mouth was wide open looking at her. Clara seemed to have noticed them too, but she acted as if she didn't. No, I want you to wear a nurse dress, he said, touching her again. Ah, no, she said as she quickly pushed his hand away. Not now, please, she began to beg, she really felt very ashamed, but she knew that he was bullying her on purpose for doubting him. Okay, fine, later then, he said, winking at Jimmy as he moved away and allowed Summer to sigh in relief. Jimmy almost exploded, glaring daggers at Adrian. Soon he began to use that communication again. This time, however, Adrian could hear everything. System, please, give me a way to kill this bastard. Calculating, negative, like previously stated, he is a second grade magician, trying to kill him at this stage is suicide. Closing square bracket, can't you restructure my body like you did before? No, you lack sufficient points. Closing square bracket, if you need help complete the mission ASAP, closing square bracket, the system will reward you with the forbidden night training method as promised. IT will allow you to defeat this guy easily. Closing square bracket, mission completion rate 9 thirtieths. Closing square bracket, I understand, Jimmy spat as he began to slowly stand up with his hands leaning on the wall. He gave his family one last look, then silently left the room. Jimmy, Clara tried to call for him, alerting Rose and Summer. I will return later, I need to clear my head, he said as he left without looking back. No one tried to stop him. System, what is this, a stupid transmigration novel? 
IT is the oldest trick in the book. Not the oldest, but it is pretty old. Yeah, what do we do now? Isn't that obvious? I will go get something to drink. Back in a moment, Adrian told Summer a minute later as he quickly followed Jimmy who was about to leave his detection range. Right now he was 100% certain that someone was scamming poor Jimmy, the question was what its nature was. This was easy to find out, Adrian just needed to know what kind of mission Jimmy had to accomplish and how the reward would be delivered to him.